Hey guys, this is Kevin from jazzhound.com and today we'll be doing a comparison between the Rolex Submariner here on my left, reference number 116610 versus the Panerai Luminor Submersible 1950 here on my right, reference number 1305. We'll be going over the pricing, the dials, bezel, case, crown, brace, bracelet, or clasp, uh, and we'll talk about the movement towards the end of the video. Okay, so as of January 2018, you can get the Rolex Submariner from Authorized Rolex Retailer for $8,550 plus tax, or you can get the Panerai Luminor Submersible from any Panerai Authorized Retailer for $9,200 plus tax. Of course, here at jazztime.com, we always strive to have the lowest prices online. So take a look at our website to check out these prices, these prices for this watch individually. And hopefully, it'll, uh, most likely, it will be a better pricing than what you see from an authorized retailer. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into the dowels now. So as these are both professional divers watches, of course, um, they have a water resistance of 300 meters or 1,000 feet. Uh, however, they approached... Aesthetically, the approach that um, approach the watch is very, very differently. So with the Panerai Luminor Submersible, of course, we have a larger dial real estate due to the size of the watch being a 47 millimeter, whereas the Rolex Submariner is a 40 millimeter watch. However, we still see some similar, uh, some similar archetypes where the hour markers are nice circular hour markers that helps with readability at night and during the day. Uh, the hour markers are fashioned in 18 karat white gold to prevent any tarnishing. They're all, lumin they're all luminescent for up to eight hours. Specifically for the Rolex hour markers, we have the circle hour markers and index at the 6, 9, and 12 o'clock position with a triangular 12 o'clock position hour marker, whereas the Panerai, we have the circular hour markers, uh, but the index markers are located at the 6 o'clock and 2 at the 12 o'clock position. Now, these uh, these difference in hour markers are uh, act as different types of landmarks, so if you're using the Rolex Submariner, you would immediately know the 12 o'clock position is where the triangle is, and with the Luminar Submersible, you would immediately know where the 12 o'clock position is due to the... Uh, two index markers at the 12 o'clock position. However, in terms of the glow in the dark, the glow in the dark, um, they've used two different, two different types. Rolex has a highly legible chroma light display with long lasting blue luminescence. So the peridot, the peridot or stud at the t very top of the bezel and all the hour markers, including the hands will glow in the dark for uh, will glow a blue color, whereas for the Luminor Submersible, it uses a Super Luminova, um, Super Luminova glow in the dark, and for that one, is all of them are a green glow except for the minute and the stud, and that's to provide an additional landmark. So when you use the the bezels specifically for the bezels, they both have the same function of tracking elapsed time underwater. Um, you can immediately see where the stud is, is re in relation to the minute hand on the Panerai. So these, the stud will go blue, the minute hand will go blue. So when you set it together, you'll know the difference in time from that. Whereas the Submariner is just that same uh, blue glow throughout. Okay. Uh, another, notable, another notable difference is that the, is the date window at the three o'clock position. So the sub Rolex Submariner uh, applied a saf on the sapphire crystal, a cyclops lens for magnification of that date. So it has an easier viewing of that date, whereas the submerse, the Panerai, just has the date aperture at the three o'clock position with nothing to magnify it. They have a difference in second hand, as you can see. Rolex has stayed with the main second hand, whereas the uh, Panerai they did a uh, a sub dial at the nine o'clock position, and it has does tracking of the second hand in there. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the bezels now. So different type of bezels. So they've kind of had the same idea with these little ridges on the edge of the bezel with a nice high polished trim on the on the outer edge of the bezel of the bezels themselves. Um, however, the Rolex's the Rolex's bezel is a ceramic or what they call cerachrome. It's a unidirectional rotatable 60 minute graduated scratch resistant ceramic bezel with numerals. The numerals and the graduations coated in a platinum to add that nice coloring that matches with the steel on the case. So this ceramic is nicely uh, 
nicely very high scratch resistant whereas the Panerai we have a full titanium a full titanium bezel with high polishes on parts on the counting of the uh, individual five minutes so from the peridot the peridot is stud at the 12 o'clock position each little stud or each little dot after that would be a five minute indicator and those are not, uh, those are all nicely high polished okay so just to show you a basic function of the bezel, as I said, is to track elapsed time. As these are divers watches. Um, typical thing is tracking oxygen levels in your tank. So obviously, let's just say you have 10 minutes in your 10 minutes in your tank. You would just shift that bezel to the matching the the stud to the minute hand. Same thing with the Panerai. And they both have the same ability um, that they can only move, uh, only shift in a uh, counterclockwise direction. As if it were to move in a clockwise uh, clockwise direction, that would actually, you know, prove fatal. As they, they might accidentally bump into some, the bump the bezel into something, and it might shift the bezel to a clockwise position a little bit and give a misjudgment on the oxygen on your you know tracking of your oxygen levels. Okay, so as you can see the. Manhattan landing with a period of now you can track the elapsed time through the little uh, little indications on both watches Rolex decided Rolex went with the larger numbers more visibility on that whereas the pan uh, for the Panerai they went with small uh, high polished uh, high polished circular markers so that that tiny 15 is a little bit harder to read than you know the nice big thick 10 or the 20 Okay, but of course, for the function of for the function of elapsed time with the bezel, even if you're not a, a diver, then you could also use it for such things as you know tracking how fast you run a mile or how long a commute can take to work. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the case now. So the case size, as I mentioned before, the Submariner is a 40 millimeter case. So from my index finger to my thumb here, that's a 40 millimeter case. The Panerai is a 47 millimeter case from my index finger to my thumb. Um, now the case on the Submariner is all made out of 904 steel, which is an in-house made steel by Rolex with additional corrosion resistance and a little bit nicer shine to it. Whereas the Panerai, they've opted for titanium for the whole case. So the bezel, the case, the crown protector, that's all titanium. And that's also a good move because 47 millimeters is a large watch and that titanium is a lighter metal. So it doesn't feel as heavy as you would think, as you would think a 47 millimeter watch would. So it's nice, nice and uh, nice and light. Has additional corrosion resistance and even protects against uh, external shocks as well. Now let me go ahead and show you the profiles of the watch. Okay. So, all right. So as you can see, the Panerai is much larger case, much larger case size. Of course, as I mentioned, it was a 47 millimeter case, so the thickness is much larger. But Rolex has a nice high polish on the side of the case that matches very nicely with the bracelet, whereas the case of the Panerai is all brush, brush polished. I'll show you the other side as well. There we are, nice high polish again, a nice brush on the titanium as well. Okay. As these are both these are both sportier watches, they have protection on the crown on the crowns of the watch. Rolex has a sort of built-in with the case, nice smoothed out into these little little humps that protect the crown. While Panerai has their patented crown protector, which is this large crown protector that sits over the crown itself and is held down by this little lever and opens as so. So let's go ahead and talk about the crown functions. So let's start with the Submariner first. The Submariner is a twin lock, or no, I apologize, it's a trip lock triple waterproofness system that gives it that 300 meters of water resistance. You can go ahead and unscrew that counterclockwise, which sets it to the standard, the standard position in which you can wind the watch from a dead stop. About 15 to 20 winds is all you need to get the watch going once more. Simple tugging of the crown. Oops. There we are. Simple tugging of the crown will allow you to adjust the date instantaneously, going clockwise as shown. And with the final tug of the crown, keep your eye on the seconds hand as we pull it up to the final position, as it will stop the seconds hand or the hack movement, and that will allow for precise timekeeping, such as through an atomic, atomic clock online. You can set it down to the exact seconds. 
And of course, in this position, you can set the time however you like. Always make sure press the crown tight, nice and tight in against the case because you want to keep this watch water resistance and nice and protected. For the Panerais, we have a little bit of different functions uh, opposed to the Submariner. So, like I said, the crown is actually held down by this, le this lever here and just simply pull the lever out. And in this position, once again, you can wind the watch from a dead stop here. Simple tug of the crown once more. Oops. Apologize, I'm not making it, look, making it look so simple. Okay, so in the first position of the crown, you can adjust the hour hand with quick hour jumps as shown. So this helps with changing changing of time zones. Let's say you're flying in from London to the Philippines. You would you could easily change it from that 12 hour period, seven hours ahead. So let's just say it's 12.10 right now. You can just go ahead and change it to 7.10. There you are. Nice, quick, and easy. And one thing, uh, one thing to keep in mind: while in this position, the seconds hand will not stop, so you can adjust the time on the fly and still have that uh, nice, precise timekeeping. Of course, always to the final position will always stop the seconds hand. As you can see, the seconds hand has stopped in the sub dial, and you can adjust the time however you like. Okay, and always make sure. Go ahead and push that lever back up to the top. That'll sit the crown back nice and tight in against the case and keep that water resistance that we've mentioned before. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the differences in the bracelet now. So of course, major difference, Rolex has a nice full steel, uh, full steel, non foil steel bracelet, which is called the Oyster Bracelet, it has a three piece link. So it's three piece, the links themselves are made of three pieces, the outer, the outer left, middle, and outer right. And that's patterned throughout the whole bracelet, as you can see. And then we have only the clasp to interrupt it. The, the Panerai is just a full rubber strap. Nice sporty rubber strap that's actually uh, stamped by the uh, stamped by Panerai themselves right there, official Panerai. Nice made in Italy strap. And obviously it has a simple for the Simple tang buckle. The buckle itself is also titanium as well. And it has a panorama name embossed on there. Okay. For the Rolex sub for the Rolex Submariner, we have what's called the folding oyster lock. This is the safety right here. And this is a folding oyster. And there we are. We have this very nice, beautiful, high polished clasp blade with the Rolex name embossed on that clasp blade. As so. One thing to mention is that of course. Being a diver's watch, uh, Rolex has implemented this with divers in mind, and this is called the uh, Glide Lock Extension Link System. So basically, you can see the little rivets behind the clasp. That's two millimeter increments for up to 20 millimeters of bracelet adjustment. So when divers put on their wetsuit, they can easily adjust um, adjust for that little thickness of the wetsuit. So you can easily just pull the bracelet for outwards, push it back in inwards, as so, so you can adjust on the fly very easily, very nicely. So nice feature to have. Doesn't does not pale in, pale in comparison to, you know, just a simple tang simple tang buckle in which you can just adjust by the holes. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the movements now. So let's start off with the Rolex Submariner. The movement is housed in this nice Oyster case backing with that nice high polish in the back of it. Uh, the movement itself is Rolex's tried and tested movement for over 10 years now. It's a perpetual mechanical self-winding movement, a caliber 3135 movement, precision of minus, plus, minus two plus two seconds a day. Has it just the simple functions of the hour, minute, and seconds hand with the instantaneous changing of the date and the stopping of the second hand as I've shown you with the crown functions. The oscillator is a paramagnetic blue paracomb hairspring which has additional resist resistances against shock, or not shock, but magnetism. The power reserve of this watch is 48 hours, meaning you can put this, on, this watch down on a Friday evening, pick it back up on a Sunday afternoon, and it'll be keeping time just fine. For the Panerai, the Panerai's movement is a newer style movement, is the PAM uh, 9010, you can actually see it engraved onto the movement it's the movement itself and we have this beautiful oscillator with the official 
uh, Panerai name on there. And this whole movement is housed behind this nice translucent sapphire case backing. So you can see how beautiful that movement is made up of uh, 200 different components, about 31 different jewels. Um, has the Inca block shock absorption, uh, shock absorption system and just absolutely beautiful movement. So the movement itself uh, it is uh, in-house made by Panerai. It has a power reserve of 72 hours, so about, which is the name suggests three, uh, three days submersible. So three days of power reserve, meaning you can put this watch down on a Friday evening, pick it back up on a Monday afternoon, and it'd be keeping time just fine. All right, so let me actually go ahead and show you this watch on my wrist. So let's start off with the Rolex first. So here's the Rolex. That's safety off, folding out. Okay. So there's the Submariner. Nice Rolex Classic. Very beautiful contrasting of the white and the black. Beautiful bracelet. Profile not too high. Now let me show you the Panerai. Give me one second as I put this on here. Oops, put it on backwards. So, thank you. Let's go out. Okay. All right. And then here's the, and then here's the Panerai. So also beautiful contrasting of the white on the white on the black dial. Also with the nice blue second hand as blue second hand as well. As you can see, very large watch, 47 millimeters. Also with the crown, crown adding additional size to that on just when it's sitting on your wrist. Okay. So there are the two watches. So if you're interested in this in these models or any other models for the lowest possible price, check out our website at jazztime.com where the lowest price is guaranteed. We offer a one-year warranty. And if you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe below. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys soon. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it, and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount. So you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in Jazz Time, plus the brand, model, and the details you're interested in, and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.